Hi everyone, I'm Caleb from CalebTempleman.com. Welcome back to Create an Interview. We've got Phil Dogs here, guys. And hello, Phil hello, really hello. wanted to get on the interview. So we're going to ask him three subcategories. Personal background, what does he currently do and what does he aspire to do? Let's get started. So Phil, you do a lot of content on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. How did you get started with social media? So I was watching like a lot of YouTube videos and I thought, hmm. Maybe I might do that. So that's kind of I got inspired by like a lot of YouTubers, basically, and that's sort of where I started making content. And like I did some videos back in 2011. Well, yeah, 2011. Yep. That I did back in school. And uh, so I yeah, just, so you were obviously just watching YouTube content, and then you're like, hey, I might give this a go. Yeah, basically, yeah. Works well, man. Now this this one's pretty obvious, but how did you meet me? <laughs> well, as you know, we Vidcon. met. At yeah, think on Australia 2017. And with friends to this day. Oh yeah, friends to this day, which is good to know. Next question is, Phil, what made you start your YouTube channel? <sighs> hmm. I think you just answered that, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was inspired by other um, YouTube, but basically... Yep. Um, I was doing, as you know, I do a bunch of random things, but back in the day, I did lip sync videos, dancing videos. Oh, mind reader, Phil, because that was the next question. <laughs> oh wow! That's really good, Phil. Now, what kind of content do you produce on YouTube? One or four. I do like. A, There's a, a lot. Of... There, is, there is a lot. Right. Blogs, gaming, music. Well, yeah. You little right. let's talk series. I do like random videos, which is where it's one of videos to talk about random crap. But yeah, I go post about a lot of content, and also I recently just uh, started up a new fresh Lego channel. If you want to check it out, you know. Oh yes, vlog channel, music channel, gaming channel, Lego channel. People want to know what's the background with putting everything on its own channel. Wouldn't it be ideal to put everything on one channel? What's your view on that? I back in the day, I did do like everything. I, I did do like music and game all on the main channel. Everything, do, like, everything on the one channel. Yep. Yeah, back in the old then, then back in early twenty, well, I think I made a music channel because at the time I was decided I want to branch out. Branch, like separate, have instead of stop doing music on the main and put music on, on another channel. You mentioned music, and how long have you been doing music for? Music runs in my family. I've been quite musical for a while. I back in school, I did a music course. Hang on, Phil. I'm, I'm just getting a call. They're with me. Hello. <laughs> All right. That's this great. I, I, I usually put the phone on. Time. You've obviously got a family background of people that play music and enjoy music. Tell us a bit of the background really quick on Cool Like Me. Didn't you, like, let us know. I don't know if you have heard the phrase, or phrase, however you pronounce that band, phrase, or whatever. Yes, name. and their song Cool Like Me. Yeah, so, I, basically, I didn't copy them. Like, I never heard the song before. Yeah, I we, and we got to clarify that because people go, oh, Phil, you're copying these guys, but absolutely. Basically, I was just getting a song that came up and made in my head wearing sunglasses being to keep the sun of the eye sun in your eyes wearing hats see to keep a lot the of sun of your head and the words that i love is see a lot of people wearing sunglasses <laughs> to, to keep the, the sun off their eyes eye. no very good very good so, with regards to your youtube career are we talking full time or just a hobby at this current stage i'm doing like as a hobby but later down track i want to do it as a full time thing yep like once I to get monetized, you gotta get at least one thousand subs, which both of us have. Yep. And also four thousand watchers, which Caleb is close, but I am. I only need like roughly one thousand odd. I'm very close. I'm right. very close. I've got like four hundred more to go. Let's go. End of the year, twenty twenty. Let's go, guys. So you know you're doing that. Obviously, you're doing it as a hobby for the moment, but eventually you'll be doing it into full time. That's good to know, Phil. Now, generally speaking, because your content is quite vague. I, I use the term and the notes, wing, you wing it, right? Yeah. Which is literally what you're doing. Now, with regards with to regards. your content, are you planning on niching down onto something similar to vlogs and tech? Or is it more going to be vague and winging it? Well, as you know, like, if you see my show, I just like wing it, have like no topic, just like wing it. Um, pretty much like, winging I, it, pretty much doing content that, yeah, you wake up, oh yeah, let's do this and do it. Yeah. I want to make content that I want to make, but not like much. I, mean, I know some people want me to make a certain video, which I'm never doing. Exactly. So people pe people give you a suggestion, you don't like it, then they go off with you. Mm. That's Understandable. Why I want to do, like, 
content I want to do, like say like my Let's Talk series, random video series. Um, yeah. And you got a video on TikTok with 1.2 million views. Yeah, I know. And, and that's really good, man. You're nearly at 40k on TikTok. Mm -hmm. What What's your plans for the future of TikTok? Hopefully, one day be verified on TikTok, like most of the other creators are, and maybe I may become a TikTok full-time TikToker. But and also, I'm gonna be trying to ignore the some of the toxic trolls that have been nagging me or being idiots to me. So, so what are some mistakes from the past? What can you take away from that? I think we just mentioned that mm -hmm. about the trolls and not reacting, right? That's what I assume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and that's understandable, you know. You know realistically, yeah. Phil, what are your overall plans moving forward, specifically related to YouTube? What's your plan? Um, I think I probably mentioned that what's the with my plan? Um, to get monetized the earning. So, I mean, I know a friend of mine has told me that I can still get a like a part a day job while earning on YouTube. Absolutely, and that balance that, cool. that balance as well with you know, you know with the balance of getting a, a quote unquote real job end quote mm -hmm. as a, and YouTube and depending on like, if people go look YouTube's a real job YouTube's not a real job all of that is what is your social media but all of your social media is pretty much at Phil Dogs. Yeah, except for... Okay, so Eli. I can have Eli, which I don't really stream on much. Which is the, the, the Aussie dude? Aussie, the Aussie dude account, which is at the Aussie Lego dude for my Lego channel. The Aussie Lego dude for my Lego channel, if you want to check it out. Yep. So, but feel free to just go to my main channel. Phil, thank you for coming on the interview, guys. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications for more. I've been Caleb from CalebTemperman.com. And thanks for coming on the interview, Phil. No problem, my dude.